Hey friends, you gotta check this story out. Roger service. He was my very first customer out of my garage in Sioux City, Iowa, back in the old Conley built days. The sign, the sign to Conley built's even in the other room. You know, we're here at How to Wrench and uh, dude, you gotta start this VMAX up. Go ahead and fire that thing up quick. We just just got this done. It started with a charging problem that lost spark, but uh, this bike is sick. It is sick. <laughs> Dude, man, this is just blowing my mind because look around here. You guys seen how many videos uh, on how to wrench? And most of you know that I'm moving to uh, Southern California to take a dream job uh, working at Suzuki uh, Motor Corporation. And I've had to turn my whole life upside down a matter of a couple months selling everything. This looks like a ridiculous hot mess. But I had a little present to give uh, Roger anyway because let's check this out. Roger, I'm going to trade off with you. So you gave this to me as a gift back in 1997, and I wish I had the photos of that because I still have the original bad plane bearings. But I had this hat made. You said Mall of America. Yep. Yep. And uh, had the Conley built put in the back. Yep. <laughs> it's so wild, man! I still got this thing. Does it still fit? Does it still fit? I think my head got bigger. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> I wonder why. Right? Yeah. Come here. Here's the other thing. So, most of you know if you haven't told from the or seen from the videos that I'm pretty passionate, and I would also say sentimental. And Roger's one of those guys that uh, rode with him on the street. I was in my 20s, and uh, you did not want me to do your bike at first because you're afraid of whether I could do it. Because I was that kid in the garage, right. kind of starting to make a career. And, yep. and I remember when you first ultimately asked me to do it, I said no, because you were only coming to me because nobody else wanted it. You'd been to the <laughs> Kawasaki dealer, you'd been to Yamaha, you'd been to an, another dealer in, in Sheldon. You'd been all over the place, and everybody said, oh, it's middle of summer. We don't want to do a spun crank. There's just nobody wanted to do it. So ultimately, you kind of end up at me. And uh, and I was, I don't want to say cocky, but I was like, I can do this. You, you know, were cocky. I've, I've been you to school. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was really trying to start off. And, you know, I mean, I could say I did some oil changes or little stuff or whatnot. But this, this bike was epic because you were kind of famous. You are popular. You were that guy that all us, you know, guys kind of looked up to or whatnot. You had one of the coolest bikes around. And it was a deal where I knew that if I did this and did it right, I was really going to have an opportunity. So I always thought of Roger's service. This is his original file. And I think <laughs> Roger just got a little shocked that I still have it. Come here and look at this. I found a bunch of photos we're going to show. But here's the work order. And I only kept a handful of customer work orders because I would always go back and look at this. If I was having a bad day or a hard time, sometimes i dig in the, this file cabinet uh, called Why I Do This. And remember those times that uh, being a young entrepreneur and, ch and trying to have a shop, it was like a, a fantastic reminder of success stories. Because this was a challenge for me. I mean, huge challenge, as we'll see in some of the pictures. But this cracks me up. So, Roger, probably should have all your address or anything. 1997, <laughs> dude. But look at the bill. Look at the bill. So for 650 bucks, he got a VMAX board by Superbike Mike, you said. Yep. I didn't remember that. You remembered yep. that. Yep. It got, uh, what, Carrillo rods. It got uh, uh, pistons. It had uh, Falcon did the crank. I mean, it was unbelievable everything I did. And it was 650 bucks. Obviously, some of those other machining costs and stuff looks like they weren't in here. Um I'm just blown away. I'm blown away regardless. Cheap labor, buddy. I'm telling you, cheap labor. <laughs> Check this out. This was Roger and I partying up at, I should take Lance in this. This is Brainerd, Minnesota. And uh, turn three, I'm almost sure of. Yep, yep. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. Yeah, if anybody's yep. been to Brainerd. This is the, I still have these spun plane bearings. They sit on my, they sit on my shelf at the college with the photo 
framed and was one of those deals like I was 20 some years old and took on this big job and thought, you know, can I do this? Am I gonna be able to do this work? And so it was also the first motor I ever ported for a customer. Uh, some rods, the old pistons. This story, this part of the story is not, it's funny now, it wasn't then. No. Do you remember this? No, yes. What happened? Yeah, yeah, the, everything switched, or something was switched around. That counterbalancer yep. was timed 180 yep. degrees. Yep. So instead of installing the counterbalancer to remove vibration, I added crazy amounts of vibration. And if you remember <laughs> when it started up, it actually took a half inch impact and shook it off the bench. And to my credit, Yamaha had a misprint in the manual. We still have the manual. And nope. in two different places, in one place, it was a misprint and I had just timed it wrong. But the cool part of the story is, you remember how I fixed it? Was using theory. I went back and used some Honda product, a uh, Honda Common knowledge uh, from the Honda Common manual that was the theory of how to counterbalance or works. And I kept looking at the lobes and looking at the crank and go, wait a second, I'm adding weight, nah, and so on. And, Anyway, uh, took a chance, flipped it around, fixed the problem, found out later on, years later, that it was a misprint and, and got you going. But I had to pull the motor again from running, pull exhaust, pull carbs or anything, and redo it. That was a shitty couple of days. Yeah. You... Here's the bike in the first garage. You know what's kind of funny? Like, you look at that garage yeah. and you look at this garage. Right now, it doesn't look much different. <laughs> nope. So we got first customer, last customer. Uh, put the motor together. Let's get something fun. So you brought this up that it was bored at Superbike Mike. Mm -hmm. Gosh dang man! Think of the people involved. Falicon on the crank, uh, a little before and after porting. What I find is really funny about all these photos, Roger, was why would I take a picture of the gaskets? Like of all the videoing, of all the photos, <laughs> like what the hell? Look at all the grind, the grinding dust. Yep. Oh my god, man, crazy crazy Ooh, look at that he did a nice job yeah um, crazy crazy job dude we need your bike in this we gotta look at this epic moment at how to wrench because uh man i don't know what the future brings no yeah. i don't know what the future brings for me i need you in here but i know this and i want to thank you yeah, for thank being you. my first customer in iowa and my last customer in iowa I can't believe it. We just thought of this. Like we were kind of looking around, reminiscing, and let's let's get to the cool stuff. Let's look at the bike again. And just thinking of all the history, and you've done a lot to this bike since I left and went to college. You put the clear yep. see-through covers on it. And uh, I don't know, man. I always thought back about what was the bike that made me? What was the bike that made my name, you know, in Sioux City? And it was... Uh, Dude, it was it was it was this bike and it was you and I you know thinking about it is that you know you gave and I wonder why you gave a young kid you know in a garage a chance to do this I don't know I just saw something in you and I just went with it and at the time I had a pocket full of cash <laughs> we ate it up <laughs> and we did you know? uh, Man, dude, what a what a story! I don't know. I'm kind of I'm starting to get speechless and maybe getting a little choked up and just thinking about uh, for in two weeks, dude. I'm I'm gone and I'm gonna live. So if you're in Southern California and you see this, you come over to Anaheim. You won't you can't miss it. You find the How to Wrench. Come say hi. I'm gonna go start my new journey. And uh, dude, I just. I don't know. I'm starting to stutter and, and get all choked up. So I'm going to say goodbye, but uh, Roger and I are going to finish up here. And, uh, oh man, it's really coming to an end. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. I'm leaving Iowa. Yeah. So everybody, I'm out. Keep wrenching. Stay tuned. See what the future brings. And uh, wish me the best at Suzuki. I'm grateful for the, the team over there to, to choose me for that position. And I can't wait. I'm going to go do the hundred and fifty percent I always do. So make a great night and keep wrenching. See you buddy. <laughs>